Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm here with another episode of League of Legends Advice for Noobs. Now, this time I'm going to talk about everything counts. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, well, I feel like a lot of people just look at your kill-death ratio and be like, oh, well, you look at you, you got like, I don't know, two kills, five deaths, you're sucking or you're below, and then they come at you and say, like, wait a minute, how are you so strong? Well, you got to remember, it's not just about kill and death ratio, because what in League, being ahead depends on everything. And what do I mean by that? Towers, CS, assist, objective, objectives. Remember, almost everything gives you gold. And because of that, you don't necessarily have to have a higher kill death ratio to be ahead of your opponent, especially when it comes to towers. Because the first tower with the five chips gives about 1200 gold, which is about four kills worth of gold. So let's say you're two and four, your opponent is four and two. If you get that first tower with all five chips, then you almost have to think of it like they're now six and four because they just got four kills worth of gold in that one tower. So just letting y'all know, when it comes to League of Legends, everything counts. The CS, the towers, everything. You can't just look at the kill death ratio and be like, oh, look, they have a negative kill death ratio, so I must be able to get, take them 1v1 or something like that. No, you got to look at everything, especially towers, since the first two towers have a potential of giving a decent amount of gold. Thanks for watching, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.